Good morning and good afternoon, everyone. Hello and welcome to the Tripwire customer webinar, Protecting What You Don't Know About. I'm Ed Smith, Product Marketing Manager for Tripwire Asset Discovery and Vulnerability Management Solutions. Joining me today is Aaron Beck, Director of Product Management at Tripwire. Today we'll be taking a look at how continuous network discovery and automated asset inventory can identify rogue devices and shady software on your network that can expose your organization to critical risks and potential non-compliance. We'll talk about using asset inventory to assess the risk from an emerging threat or compliance drift. We'll cover how to identify previously undetected or unknown assets on your network. We'll see how to discover and inventory software and services that increase security risk or are prohibited by policy and compliance requirements. You'll learn how to proactively identify areas of exposure, vulnerability, and other security weaknesses. And we'll talk about how all of this is necessary for good security, efficient compliance, and agile operations. First, let's review some of the challenges we face in modern enterprise environments. Cyber criminals are threatening your business. They're after your crown jewels, the critical assets on your network. And the potential for financial loss, it's enormous, with $445 billion lost to cyber attacks, according to the Center for Strategic and International Studies. And these cyber criminals launch hundreds of thousands of malicious programs every day, but traditional defenses like malware are not sufficient, with only 51% of new malware being detected on day zero. And even worse, more advanced zero-day and targeted attacks make it nearly impossible to detect threats quickly and respond in time. So how do you keep cyber criminals from stealing your crown jewels when your resources are limited and the number of cyber attacks is on the rise? And these threats aren't just about security, but also threats in terms of risks to your business, such as not passing an audit or the risk of an outage to a mission-critical system. So what if you could focus your limited resources on the greatest risks, even as hackers evolve? And this is something that organizations are faced with, which is the challenge of managing what they can't see to be able to better focus those limited resources. We're dealing with threats that are constantly evolving, and they're becoming more determined to, defi uh, to find a way into your network. And once they get in, once an attacker infiltrates your network, they look for places to hide and assets to leverage so that they can advance their attack. And these can even be devices that are not visible from the internet. Uh, internal devices can be used by attackers that have already gained internal access and now are looking for places to jump inside your internal network, jump points or additional victims and in this way, they can quickly turn one compromised machine into many. And change is constant throughout enterprise networks, as well as private clouds, and public clouds, new software, new applications, ports that get opened, new services that are exposed on the network, new operating systems and versions emerge. Virtual machines and elastic instances, they can go up and down. New software gets deployed. Employees are continuing to bring their own devices and installing their own software. And attacks can take advantage of these new devices that are stood up on the network one evening, but maybe not configured correctly or patched with the appropriate security updates until the next day. Poorly controlled machines, they're more likely to be either running software that's unneeded for business purposes, and that can introduce security flaws, or running malware that's introduced by an attacker, an attacker after a system is compromised. And because of 
this rapid change and increasing complexity, even authorized devices and services are at risk because they're unknown, unmanaged, and not properly monitored. And like the saying goes, you can't manage what you don't measure. Or as we at Tripwire like to say, you can't secure what you can't see. And this visibility problem uh, is becoming even more of a challenge because of new technologies and emerging technologies like the cloud, where we have ports that need to be open on a firewall for internal services to connect and communicate with outside cloud services. Lots of technology now has been virtual, virtualized or is software defined, like a virtual switch or a virtual firewall, software defined networking. These are great things to have, but you can't see these things. They're not, they're not tangible. They don't appear on a rack when you walk into a data center. So it's very hard to have good visibility of these virtual and software defined technologies. Fortunately, Tripwire can help organizations manage and secure what they can't see by providing additional visibility and by using asset discovery and inventory technologies. This can help you get better visibility into what is on your network and what are running on your devices on your network. In fact, if you ask the experts at SANS or the Council on Cybersecurity Control, what are the first two things, or if you were to ask them, what's the first thing to do to secure your network? Number one would be taking inventory of authorized and unauthorized devices. And number two, inventory of authorized and unauthorized software. And these two foundational controls provide a good starting point for effective security, IT operations, and compliance by helping you understand exactly what's on your network. And having a foundation can help your organization make sense of the chaos that's occurring on your network and provide a good foundation for security, IT ops, and compliance workflows and provide the visibility that's needed for those workflows.